So over the last few months, I've spent about a million dollars on paid ads, and many people that I work with ask me, should I start with paid ads or should I start with organic content on social media? Because the ads usually come with a tangible ROI, but they cost you money, and then the organic content just posting on social media doesn't cost anything, it's free to post, but there's no specific ROI that you can point to other competitors and say, he made this much money with this much effort. But there's no specific competitor that you can point to and say, he made this kind of return on his time invested on social media. So which should I start with if I have a business? And I wanna explain the answer with a story about a young guy that came to me asking the same question. And this is honestly where most people end up if they're not really careful about this decision. So he had a small business and he wanted to grow it more into something like what I'm doing. Sorry, my eyes are like really teared up. There's like a bunch of wind or something here. I'm out on a mountain recording this, it's really beautiful outside. Here, let me just record the view and show you what exactly I'm working with. Pretty nice, nice backdrop for the day. Maybe I should switch sides. I don't know if that's actually better. <laughs> I don't know if you can see anymore. All right, so this guy had a small business and he wanted to grow it into what I was doing with my company. Not millions of dollars, but 50,000 a month and he would have been set. And he really liked how I was doing it on social media, so he thought like he should ask me for some advice. He was in a completely different niche, but he saw that I was having some success with paid ads and I was doing a whole bunch on organic, so he was just like asking me, which should I start with? And I told him, if you start with ads, it's gonna take you about a month, and if you have an offer that works for paid ads, very specific point, not many of them do, you'll be able to make some money, but it's gonna be really expensive to test the ads when you're starting. And unless you're really good, you're probably not gonna make any money at all. The space is really competitive and it's getting harder and harder and the ads are getting more specific to offers that sell well with paid ads. I'll get into that in a little bit if you don't know what that means. And if you lose, you'll be out tens of thousands of dollars. But if you start with social media, it doesn't actually cost you anything to post. So really you're just spending your own time, but you very likely won't see any kind of ROI if you're starting from scratch in at least 90 days because it takes time to build the audience, nurture them and then convert them. But after that, even people that have really bad offers that would never work on paid ads crush on social media because it's free to play and you can have as many attempts at bad as you want. And there's really no cost to doing that financially. And really the reason something might work for organic when it wouldn't work for paid ads is you are building trust with your audience around your brand image, not the specific product. And so if they can learn to trust you, they'll trust the product versus a product that's on paid ads to a cold audience. They have to believe in the product and understand what the deliverables are because there's no person behind it vouching for them. So I asked him, which would you rather lose? Would you rather lose a bunch of your time trying to figure this out on social media or would you lose a bunch of money trying to figure this out on paid ads? Now this isn't my actual recommendation for people because it really depends on whether you're making more or less than 20,000 a month. And there's some nuance in that, which I'll get to it. But I wanna first make my point with this guy and tell you what he did so you can understand what happens next. So he talked to some people in the paid ad space. They gave him a great sales pitch and they said that they're gonna handle everything for him. And in two weeks, he's gonna be making a bunch of money and that they're gonna handle all the work. So really all he has to do is have his product and have it be a good product, which is key. It's not that easy. If he's hoping to build a real business, and not just scam people. It's gonna take more than a couple months to figure out paid ads, especially if you've never successfully run ads to a very high ticket offer and made a few million dollars doing so. And anyone telling you that you're gonna be profitable after a couple of weeks running paid ads at your first at bat is just lying to you to get your money. But at the same time, if you need money this month anyways to be able to do the business, you're not gonna get that from social media. At least not if you don't already have some kind of following on social media and some practice getting content out that actually performs. So he still wanted to give it a shot with paid ads with this company. So instead of spending any of his time on social media, he went alone on paid ads and focused 100% of his efforts there. Ended up checking up on him three months later and he told me the company that started running the ads for him completely wasted all of his money because they charged him like $12,000 to do the actual setup and then the ads, they burn through $15,000 really quick to test the ads and to season the account and to validate the offer. And it didn't convert to a single paying client. So they basically just blew $30,000 for him. And it's not that there was an issue with the ads or the company was a scam. It's that he didn't have a validated offer that was proven to work with paid ads. I'm gonna close this window. I'm getting like a lot of draft in here. We go, that's way better actually, wow. And I asked him, did you try social media in the meantime? Were you posting at all just to build up the audience and to test to see what that looked like? And he told me that he heads down, went all in on ads and didn't even bother with social media because he wanted to be really focused on getting an ROI as fast as possible. 
and he didn't have any start on social media and I asked him, I'm really sorry that the ads didn't work out for you, but I think this is a pretty good case to make for social media, you should try social media. And unfortunately he told me that he no longer has the time to do social media. He had to stop that business altogether. He invested $30,000 into it between the company that set up the ads and the actual ads and he wasn't able to afford rent. So he had to go back to working his nine to five job and picking up some side hustle stuff. And so he was busy 12 hours a day. He didn't even have time to make content on the side which was free to post to hedge his bets. And he said it'll probably be a full another year again before he can kind of make back some savings and try it again. And that next time he would start with social media. And it's a really sad story and it hits close to home because I've personally also lost hundreds of thousands of dollars trying to make paid ads work for an offer that wasn't competitive on paid ads and more so relied on a warm audience to be able to convert. And yes, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars profitably on paid ads and made millions of dollars from ads. I'm not saying ads don't work, but at the same time, if you're just testing your offer, if this is your first at bat, paid ads are so dangerous. And even if you are set up, even if you are doing a couple hundred thousand a month with your offer on paid traffic, a single bad week on ads, a single bad month on ads can really just hammer you and if you don't have tons of money set aside to be able to weather that if you're spending fifty hundred thousand dollars a month on ads having half of your month lost to bad ad performance just because things are expensive right now in advertising really impacts your business if you're making less than twenty thousand a month online with your coaching consulting agency offer you don't have a big enough business to compete on paid ads yet like you're just going to get crushed you're going to be right up against the people that are making millions of dollars and spending a hundred thousand two hundred thousand five hundred thousand million dollars a month on paid ads that's who you're competing with on eyeballs and those guys are not looking at making a quick buck they're fine spending a hundred thousand this month and hopefully eventually making it back with a long enough sales cycle from their customers to have some revenue to show for it in six months plus you don't even know if your offer is proven to work for paid ads which is a huge qualifier the biggest guys in the space are armed with so much historical data and such a massive bank account to where a single month really doesn't mean anything to them. They have millions of dollars in the war chest to put back up onto Facebook if suddenly something doesn't go their way. And I know personally a couple of companies that I started competing with on paid ads. I did have a pretty big war chest when I started my company and I was able to just beat them out. They weren't able to compete because they weren't spending tens of thousands of dollars on ads. I was completely saturating the market and I watched them go out of business. While they were trying to make an ROI on every single hundred dollars that they put in, I was blowing thousands of dollars a day. I didn't care about the ROI because I knew that my customer life cycle was longer. I could wait months before making that sale. And then when I did make the sale, I'd make five times as much profit as they did because I charged 10 times as much because I also delivered 50 times the value. It's just a completely different scale of business that they weren't able to match. And so they probably blew a bunch of money week after week, not making enough sales. And so they just completely quit. They shut down shop. When your competition is playing that kind of game, when they're playing a game that they don't even need to win like this week or next month or this quarter, when you're competing against someone that doesn't care about winning, like you are not going to last very long if you need to have a sale every single week. And you definitely don't stand a chance with your $100 per day budget. It really makes absolutely no sense at all to risk your money unless you have a substantial amount of evidence and historic data to back up a proven ROI so you know exactly what your specific offer is gonna make with your specific ad, with your specific budget in your niche. So my recommendation, if you're making less than 20,000 a month, start with organic traffic. You're gonna make content, it's gonna be free to post, you're gonna build an audience that's way easier to convert than on paid ads, and really there's no downside. It might take you a little bit longer, but then once you build that audience, you own it. You don't have to keep paying Facebook every month to keep making sales. Now, if you have a business over 20,000 a month, you probably have a better sales process. You probably have been in it at least a couple months. You probably have some data to go off of on what your customer journey looks like, what your LTV is, what your customer acquisition cost is, and some of these other metrics that are really so important to know before you even touch ads. So it makes sense for you to do ads. 
depending on your offer. I would never take a company that's doing over 20,000 a month and trying to scale to multiple six figures per month and tell them to put all of their eggs in one basket and only run ads. You really have to have a good amount of cash reserves in case a couple of bad weeks or a couple of bad months, depending on your spending and, and margins happen. If you don't, you are gonna go out of business. And even if it's just a couple thousand dollars a month, really a few days worth of ad spend, depending on the size of your company, bring on someone to your team that can start building out your social media. It's extremely low cost. Once you get going, it's really high ROI because you're really just paying the cost of the labor, which you would have to pay for with ads anyways, across all of the customer acquisition channels out there. It has the highest ROI because you need the least amount of input to do it well. And when you look at the biggest names in the coaching consulting space, the Sam Evans, the Cole Gordon, the Alex Hermosi, all of those guys, it's not just the guy with a big email list or a guy spending the most money on ads. If you recognize those names, it's because you recognize those names. They have brand equity. They're not just making money from their ads. They're making money because they're well known. And most of the biggest guys in the space, like the Hermoses, Grant Cardones, Gary V's, Tony Robbins, they have massive teams, massive in-house social media teams that support everything they do. They spend most of their time every single week in front of a camera making content for social media, despite also having this $100 million opportunity to just run their business. They outsource running their $100 million business so that they can do more time in front of the camera to make content. It's that valuable. Social media has the greatest opportunity to scale. It's the easiest to grow right now because people aren't taking it seriously enough. And if they were, I wouldn't have to be making this video. It would just be common sense. But for most people, it's not. But for you watching this video, I hope it is.